What's up, people? It's Mr. Something Basic, and I'm over here with that JB Weld Wooder stuff. Uh, basically, I'm over here about to put a band aid on this cast iron pipe. I don't know if y'all could see it. Uh, I cleaned it up a little bit. Um, it could get a little bit more cleaner, but I just cleaned it up a little bit for you guys. Uh, I didn't know if you guys want to see, but like it was pretty, uh, pretty bad, basically. Um, yeah, it was like, you know, it was like, it's leaking a little bit, not nothing crazy, not going to flood out the basement or anything, but it's just like one, one or two drips, like every, I don't know, six, seven hours, nothing crazy. Um, yeah, I just scraped it a little bit and sanded it down a little bit, got some of the poop off of it. Uh, basically, um, yeah, I'm going to try this JP Weld stuff. Uh, it's a pretty good product. Um, I'm taking the easy way out. Cause I don't feel like ask my old man to fucking borrow his uh his tools and the lead and all that stuff. Basically, if you ever play with cast iron, it's not fun. Basically, there's a couple techniques where you could try to fix it the other way, where you heat it up and all that crazy stuff and get the wax out and the lead and all that crazy shit. I'm gonna try to take the easy way out and use the JP. Uh, JB, my fault. It says JP. Uh, yeah. Basically, I cleaned it up. It looked a little bit bursar. I didn't really want to show you that that stuff guys. I mean it was just it was just nasty, you know what I mean? Um it was you know, it was just like poop. It was like drips of poop, you know what I mean? So let's see if this J B works. If not, uh we're gonna be ripping this wall out and I'm gonna be putting PVC behind this motherfucker. So hopefully this JP works. I kinda don't wanna get the torch out and the lead and all that crazy shit, so we'll see what happens. All right, so I just got it put in. I don't know if y'all can see that. Doesn't look good, but doesn't look pretty, I mean. But it's in there. Uh, like I said, man, this is a this is a band aid. You know what I mean? Uh, make sure you mix this up. If you ever used uh, JB weld or whatever. Make sure you mix it up real good. Um, if you don't mix it up good, then it's not gonna it's not gonna hold up. You know what I, mean? um, I tried to do it like a clean sample. What it would look like if it was clean without me uh, using dirty fingers, and I ended up getting it dirty. But uh, yeah, I use my bare fingers, and I got it dirty. Um, you can see that it's it's dirty. You know. But I use my bare fingers to push it in. You can use latex gloves, but I, I play around with two-part epoxy thousands of times. So, uh, yeah, basically, that's it, man. Just jam it in there and try to feather it out. Uh, I try to put, like, a little small bead and then use, like, a, um, a pointing tool for masonry work. Um, you could just use your fingers. That's that's basically what I did. I just pushed it in a little bit with the masonry uh, pointer, and then use my fingers after that. I just try to just get it in there best I can, and then smooth it out. You know what I mean? Pretty basic. Um, like I said, man, this is a band aid. This is not a fix. So, um, yeah. And like I said, man, this is a this is uh, much more easier than getting the lead out and heating up the lead and all that crazy sh stuff and you know what I mean or ripping out this wall the soffit and then putting PVC behind it and stuff like that I ain't trying to do that right now uh, later down the road it's gonna happen so that's why I just did this JP see if it holds if it holds then I ain't gotta rip the wall down for a couple more months maybe a year you know what I mean uh, but other than that, man, yeah. Just hopefully it holds up. Um, yeah. That's it. Just smooth it out. Uh, I tried to, like I said, I tried to put a nice little sample and then I ended up getting it dirty. But, uh, yeah. I used my fingers and that's why it's all dirty. Uh, it did look nice and clean, but then I got it all dirty. So, hopefully it holds up. No poo-poo. No poo poo waterfalls out, and then 
we can hold off and then till I uh, redo the, the bathroom and all that. So when I redo the bathroom all that shit, I'll be ripping these walls down anyway. Cause I'm redoing the bathroom and I'm redoing the basement, but for right now, just put this band-aid on, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, for some of the the DIYers, um, some some two-part epoxies will burn your fingers, so try to use the the latex gloves. Me, um, I don't mind the burning sensation. You know what I mean? Hate to sound like a dirty whore, but you know what I mean. And uh, yeah. All right, uh, three months later, and it's holding up pretty good, man. That JP, man. Um, yeah, three months in, and uh, still holding up. A couple of rainstorms came through. A lot of water ran through this pipe, and a lot of people used the bathroom. Um, so, and actually, while we're t doing this recording right now, somebody's using the toilet. So, yeah, man, it's holding up pretty good. Uh, I highly recommend that uh, product. But uh, I do not consider this as a fix. I say this is a band-aid. Uh, this will hold you off for a little bit. It might hold you off for a very long time. I don't know. But this is just a band-aid for me till I uh, demo the basement and uh, redo the bathroom. So, like I said, man, this is just a band-aid for me. It might be a fix for you or whatever. Uh, yeah. I don't know how to explain it to you, but yeah, if you got a leak in some cast iron, check out that JP, man. You know, that's basically it, man. It's at its job. Holla at your boy, scream at your daddy.